Have you ever wondered what it takes to run a successful franchise? Today we're walking you through what a day in the life of a franchise owner really looks like. Before we dive into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification for all the latest and affordable franchise opportunities. Without further ado, let's dive into it. So we've spoken to over a thousand franchisees in the past 10 years about their experience owning a franchise, whether it's from the, the first few months to 10 years into the business, 25 years into the business, what it looks like running the day-to-day. -day. Most of them are gonna start early. We're talking about checking emails around eight o'clock, preparing for communication with the team. Preparation is key, everyone says, and sticking to the checklist, making sure the, the priorities are set for the coming day. Many franchise owners do hold a daily huddle with their direct reports. That could be 10, 15 minutes at 9 a.m., potentially earlier, depending on the type of business. For many franchise owners, especially in service-oriented business like home care, real estate property management, managing the team is a significant part of the day. This includes overseeing staff, setting growth goals, ensuring high quality service deliver. Regular team meetings and training sessions are also a key part of their routine. So whether it is that daily huddle starting in, in, in the beginning of the morning so everyone is aligned or check-ins throughout the day, weekly meetings that might be longer with key members of management team, executive committee, depending on how large the, the franchise organization is. Those are all key to making sure that the franchise goes smooth, but there's also the back of the house function. So we're talking about administrative tasks, uh, tracking finances, processing invoices, managing accounts, strategic planning. So some of these things you're gonna be doing as the, the business owner, rolling up your sleeves until you're a certain size, where processing invoices, hopefully, when you're at that 500K of revenue plus, you're not processing invoices and there's a member from your team that's responsible for that. Balancing all these tasks is key to making sure your franchise business runs smoothly. Are you interested in exploring franchise opportunities? Check out Vetted Biz for a wide range of options that suit your entrepreneurial spirit. Visit our website to learn more about how you can start your journey in the world of franchising. Customer interaction is also a vital part of the day. This could mean visiting job sites, meeting with clients, or providing hand-on services services for franchise owners building strong customer relationships and understanding their needs is essential depending on the type of the business if it's more of a recurring revenue type business and you're not upselling those existing customers you might be spending less time on the customer side and more more time on the sales and referral sources again to, depending on how big uh, the business is the the size of the ticket if it's a flooring business and you expect ten thousand uh, dollars selling flooring in the installation as you as the owner is generally going to be doing that sales at least in the beginning or there are businesses like bath and kitchen remodeling that a job could be fifty thousand dollars and until you're at one million 1.5 million dollars in revenue generally it's the owner that that's really responsible for the sales at least closing the sales and maybe having someone filter for sales qualified leads so the day doesn't usually end and it's especially in those first couple of years the owner that that's going to be closing down the the operations a lot of these service-based businesses are more virtual but there's also physical retail book and brick and mortar where it's literally the owner closing down the later hours are usually spent adjusting pending tasks planning for the upcoming days or, or weeks ahead and setting the stage for for the next day or the next week running a franchise also involves network and community engagement there's a big reason these large brands are not expanding with corporate locations and hiring a manager for uh, certain towns, certain regions. The franchise owner, no one's going to care as much as the franchise owner. And a big part of that is working outside the, the day and around the weekend, networking at events, what is your kid's school, sports, sponsoring different charity runs. A community engagement is key. So whether that happens during kind of regular business hours, nine to five, or it's happening on the weekends. You as a franchise owner are the ultimate face of the business. And finally, franchise owners strive to maintain that balance between their personal and professional lives. This balance is key to sustaining the energy and enthusiasm needed to run a successful franchise. However, in the early stages, that balance can be shifted really more towards work until your business has sustained certain financial metrics where you're constantly in earning $5,000 of cash per month, $10,000 of cash per month, and then you can uh, take a break off the foot pedal. But it, it tends to be more balanced over time the longer that your business has been operating. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more content on franchising and business opportunities at Vetted Biz.